ensure that everybody uh, is able to participate. Question number 11, Chris Hipkins. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Education. Does she stand by all of her answers to oral question number 11 on the 26th of March 2013? If not, why not? Honourable Hikia Parata. Uh, Mr Speaker, yes. However, as the member is aware, on 26 March I also made a personal explanation to the House to clarify that while I was not consulted at the final stage of the Commissioner's decision to accept Ms Longstone's resignation, I had been involved in earlier discussions. Supplementary question, Chris Hipkins. Why did she indicate that the State Services Commissioner had not consulted her about Leslie Longstone's resignation? Honourable Hekia Parata. Mr Speaker, because I had misunderstood the question relating to the final decision-making powers which rest exclusively with the State Services Commissioner. Supplementary question, Chris Thank Hipkins. Mr Speaker, when did the State Services Commissioner first discuss Leslie Longstone's possible resignation as Secretary of Education with her? Honourable Hekia Parata. Um, Mr Speaker... I was first informed on the 6th of December 2012 that Ms Longstone and the State Services Commissioner were in discussions as part of her annual performance review and that Ms Longstone had, um, was considering returning to the United Kingdom and, if so, would step aside from her position. I was informed on Tuesday the 18th of December that Ms Longstone had resigned and the State Services Commissioner had accepted her resignation and that he would be holding a press conference the following day about this. Supplementary question, Mr. Supplementary Speaker. question, Chris Hipkins. Did she indicate in any discussions with the State Services Commissioner a preference that Leslie Longstone should not continue as the Secretary for Education? If so, why? Honourable Hickey Parata. Mr Speaker, as a standard practice for all Ministers, I was involved in the State Services Annual Performance Review process for Chief Executives. As part of this process, I provided a wide range of feedback on Ms Longstone's performance to the Commissioner. There are contractual arrangements between the State Services Commissioner and Ms Longstone regarding her employment. I have been advised to go any further, into any further detail about performance matters would be a breach. Mr Speaker. Point of order. Mr Speaker, Speaker, I didn't ask about any performance matters to do with Leslie Longstone. I simply asked the Minister whether she indicated a preference that Leslie Longstone not continue yes, as the Secretary I, for Education. I, I, appreciate, I appreciate the Member's point of order. I listened carefully to the question and the answer. I think it's been adequately addressed. The Member has further supplementaries. Point of order, Mr Speaker. I, I, I accept, I, I won't labour this, over, overly labour this, but Mr Speaker, the question is, uh, I didn't ask about... No, you know, this, this, I know exactly the what the member issues. asked and I listened very carefully to the answer. I think on this occasion the question has been addressed. I invite yes the member... No. I invite the member to ask a further well, supplementary question. Well, point of order, Mr Speaker. Before I ask a further supplementary question, which I would like to do, if you could indicate to me what the answer, whether the answer was affirmative no. or negative to that question, then I can you answer. You have the opportunity to listen it. to the answer as I did. If the member wants a further supplementary, I advise him to take it. Mr Speaker. It's a, it's a diff order different, order completely, diff matter. completely different point of order, Fresh Mr. Point of order. Fresh uh, completely point different point of order, Mr Speaker. This is a relatively serious matter, and there is very... There are order, a point of order is being heard and it will be heard in silence. Well, and that is actually the point of order I was going to raise, Mr Speaker. There are very clear rulings from the Speaker that points of order are to be heard in silence. I don't think I have raised any trivial matters in points of order. Uh, is that standard still going to apply? Yes, yes, it does. The House has been particularly noisy from all parts of the House today. But the Member has further supplementary. Not further supplementary. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Did she indicate to the State Services Commissioner at any stage that Leslie Longstone should not have to work out her notice as Secretary of Education? If so, why? Honourable Hickey Parata. Mr Speaker, matters of that nature are exclusively the preserve of the employment contract and its processes between the Chief Commissioner and the employee. Point of order. Mr Speaker, I didn't ask her about matters relating to the State Services Commissioner and Leslie Longstone. I asked her what, her what, the, what signals she gave to the State Services Commissioner were. Uh, that, is, that is actually her responsibility as a minister. Speaking to the Port of Order, Honourable Jerry Brown. Mr Speaker, it's quite clear from what uh, uh, Minister Parato has said to the House is that it would be inappropriate for her to give any sort of indication about what was effect effectively and what is effectively, and people who have been ministers on the other side of the House will know this, confidential discussions between the State Services 
and the Minister about the performance of chief executives. And I think the way she answered that is effectively saying it is not in the public interest to continue, and that should be accepted. Speaking to the point and, of order, Hon. Trevor Mallard. And, uh, and I speak with some experience as a, uh, both as a portfolio minister and minister of state services. Order! This is a point of order, and it will be heard in silence, otherwise a member is going to be asked to leave the chamber. Uh, Mr Speaker, members or ministers have on, on a number of occasions uh, been asked to indicate in this House whether or not they have confidence in their chief executive. And, and Mr Speaker, this question goes to that. The question goes to the spending of probably a quarter of a million dollars extra uh, because of the lack of notice. Uh, and, and my experience is that a minister's opinion would be sought on that by the Commissioner. Uh, Mr Speaker, uh, the, uh, the question of whether a minister could work with a chief executive, that opinion would be sought, and just like a minister can be asked if they have confidence in the chief executive, that response uh, should be a matter of record. Uh, Mr Speaker, there's, it, it may well be that the minister indicated that she could not, but I think given the large amount of money, public money, that was spent uh, on someone to be sent back to the United Kingdom, uh, we have the right to know uh, whether Hekia Parata uh, indicated that she thought that that was appropriate. The difficulty I have with the, the last point of order is it's not actually the question that was asked. It's, it's, it's sort of the, the information the member's trying to obtain. I accept that. The question was, did she indicate, uh, did the minister indicate whether it was her preference that the uh, uh, Ms Longstone work out her notice, etc, etc, and the answer that uh, I think Mr Brownlee has put very succinctly in the way I interpreted the answer was it's a private matter, it's not in the interests of an employment agreement for that to be breached, and that's the difficulty I have as Speaker. But the member has further supplementaries. I invite him to ask them. Thank you. Supplementary, Mr Speaker. Was she made aware when she was consulted about Leslie Longstone's resignation that her early departure, rather than working out her notice, would cost the taxpayer an additional $267,952. Honourable Hickey Parata. Mr Speaker, I had no knowledge of those arrangements until after they had been finalised. They were an employment matter between Ms Longstone and the State Services Commission. Question, Mr. Speaker. Supplementary question, Honourable. Uh, sorry, Chris. Did, did she indicate to the State Services Commissioner at any stage that she would be happy for Leslie Longstone to leave her contract early and not work out any notice period? Honourable Hickey Parata. Mr Speaker, the employment relationship was between um, Ms Longstone and the State Services Commissioner. Therefore, any details related to that were properly the preserve of those discussions, and I was not involved in them. Mr Speaker, that, that isn't what I asked the Minister. I asked her whether she indicated yeah. that she would and, be happy for Leslie order, Longstone. Order. I am going to invite the member to ask that question again. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Did she indicate at any stage in her discussions with the State Services Commissioner that she would be happy for Leslie Longstone to leave her contract early rather than work out her notice? Honourable Hickey Parata. Mr Speaker, as I have indicated in my previous answer, as those matters are part of the employment process between the, Ms Longstone and the State Services Commission, I was not involved in them. Order. 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 On question number 12, Honourable Tariana Terrier. Order. 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 I have called the Honourable Tariana Terrier for question 12. 